Hey mamas, papas, and everybody in the crew, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another product review that I am super excited about. We're going to be talking about strollers today and in today's video we're going to be doing a review of the GB Pocket All City Travel Stroller. Now I want to make sure that I preface this by saying that if you're in the market for a travel stroller and your little one is under the age of 12 months, you want to check out my other video that I did regarding the Chico Key Fit 30. That's a better option for you because that actually uses the infant car seat. And because my son is closer to 17 months old, although the GB does have an attachment for an infant seat, he's not in the infant category at that capacity. So I won't be able to provide any feedback regarding using that attachment. So you should definitely check out this video if you're in the market for that type of travel system for your baby if they're under the ages of 12 months. But if your littles is 12 months and older, this is the last video that you're gonna wanna watch regarding the best travel stroller that we have used. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so let's dive right into the review of this video. What I'm going to do is insert video of my husband. He is uh, pushing my son along in the stroller so that you could actually see it in action. The reason why we were in market for a new stroller is because although we love our Key Fit 30 and the Bravo traveling system, when we were traveling out of the country, the system is really, really heavy. And for myself, it's not like I can carry that stroller for long periods of time. We were also traveling with other petite women like myself, like my mom and my sister. So we definitely want to look for something that in the event my husband and I wasn't there, that my mom, my dad, or my sister could use the product and feel confident that it wasn't gonna be too heavy for them and that it was gonna be easy breezy. That's why we looked into it. Shout out to my husband, he actually found this product and we got it just like a couple of days before our travel. We went to Jamaica for a family trip and that was the reason why we were in market for it. Just to mention before we even begin, this stroller is airplane compliant. So if you need to have it as a carry-on solution or gate check it, it does fall within the airline standard so you don't have anything to worry about. I'm going to also show you video of me using it because it's one thing when a dude's using it but it's another when a girl is so that you can really see how we both use it and how easy and simple it is. We did buy a cover like for the airline but because they gate checked it we didn't even need it. So that's another thing too that because it's going to be gate checked more than likely you don't need to buy any other type of covering for it it's gonna work the way it's supposed to okay so regarding overall specs we got the GB gold pocket all city fashion edition stroller we got the color in velvet black the weight is 13 pounds 2 ounces and the max weight capacity is 55 pounds so that's why I was saying that if your child is 12 month plus, they're gonna have a lot more benefit out of using it. If they're really, really teeny, you might wanna get a regular traveling system for them. This, uh, because of its light weight, you really wanna make sure your child is able to sit up, have good neck control. And I don't know if putting a smaller child in this particular stroller is going to benefit them that much. It's AirPlay carry-on compliant. It has a standard fold. The seat reclines back, which is awesome because even though it's good that they sit up, I know that a lot of infants like that slight recline while they're in the stroller traveling, so that that is going to be beneficial. This overhead has an extra law has a extra large UPF 50 sun canopy which really came in handy because as you know in Jamaica just like all the islands if you've been they have Caribbean rain so one minute you're sitting there the next minute it poured down raining and he was covered we didn't have to worry about anything getting on his face it also protected him from the sun usually from the belly up we he had a lot of protection which was awesome for us and for our needs. For assembly dimensions, it's 28.7 by 20.3 by 40.9. And when it's a folded, it's 12.6 by 7.9 by 18.9. 
Again, I keep mentioning this, but I'm going to recommend it again. It's really recommended for toddlers and infants 12 months and older. If you have a child who is under 12 months, it does come with an infant seat attachment. Because my son is 17 months old, he is no longer in an infant car seat. So this review will not be going over how that works. One of the pros that I absolutely love is that it is light weight. If you're a mommy who has to travel solo for some reason, you can do this too, sis. Trust me. It's lightweight. It's not heavy at all. You can literally pick it up. It weighs less than your child at this point. So you can pick it up and it has straps if you wanted to put it on your back if you want to. But that was one of the things that I absolutely loved about this stroller is that it's super lightweight. I can pick it up. My husband picks it, can pick it up. And even our 17 month old, <laughs> if he really was putting his effort into it, could pick it up as well. What is also cool about this traveling stroller is that the feet rest also can come up and down. That was really, really awesome for us because in his regular stroller, we were not able to do that. But in this one, if he wanted to relax or recline back or if he was asleep, we can put his little feet up and he would really be in like a really good sleeping recline position, which I found really awesome. It's easy to pull it up, it's easy to put it down and it locks in two separate positions. So you can like do it at an incline, which is like 90 degrees and then if 180 if you really wanted their feet to be completely flat. So that's another awesome thing about this stroller. I mentioned this previously, but because the canopy is so large for it to be such a small lightweight stroller, you don't have to worry about your little one getting wet or things getting caught in their eye, even the sun. When we went, it was like 80, 90 degree weather every single day. So we didn't have to worry about the sun glaring on him because the shade definitely gave him protection from the belly up. And of course, we just made sure to put sunscreen on his little legs so he didn't burn. Another good thing about the stroller is how it closes. It's a one close system. So you just push it all the way down and it's one motion. It's great because with the other strollers, they have all these attachments and then it folds over and then you have to kind of pick it up like that. But this really shrinks into a small position so that if you are traveling on an airplane and you need to move very, very quickly, you can just collapse it and not have to worry about it. Again, this was really great. We had a very full flight going and coming. So being able to push down the stroller and pull it out when necessary was key in us being able to enter and exit the plane as quickly as we could. Obviously, because we have a, an infant, we were able to get on the plane early, but you still want to make sure you can expedite getting him settled, getting you and your partner or whoever you're traveling with settled so that you can start your trip. The last thing that I absolutely love about this stroller is that it is super easy to travel if you are solo travel. Listen, mamas, I don't know about you, but a lot of times I have to take my son to daycare, swimming lessons. So being able to know that this stroller can go with me easily, I can put it on my back and walk with him, or if I need to collapse it or pull it out really quickly, it really gives you the confidence that you can handle this without having assistance. There are so many strollers that are really bulky and heavy duty, and that's because you're gonna be using them every single day. But if you need to go somewhere and travel really quickly, this is the bee's knees, I'm telling you. Even everyday overall errands, I definitely feel really, really confident in being able to take the stroller where I need and feel like I can put it together and not get blustered. I would definitely say the only con that I have experienced is that Trying to lock it takes it takes a few practices because when you fling it open, you kind of have to fling it open. And if you don't fling it over open properly, it will not lock. So you it takes a couple of tries to do it. But for me, it took a few tries to get it where when you fling when you fling it, it will actually lock. So just keep that in mind that it might take you a few tries before it actually locks. That's the only thing that I felt that was like, oh man, it's not like the other systems where, you know, you know because of how you have to open it that it's locked. With this, it's kind of a fling motion. You know, kind of like that. So just keep that in mind. It takes a few tries before you're able to really figure out based on 
your strength level, how much force you're going to need. But you do need a little bit of force in order to have it lock into place because if it doesn't lock, it will close back up. And that's the easiest way to tell if it's locked in place or not. Overall, I would definitely recommend this stroller for anyone who is in the market for a traveling stroller. Again, please be mindful that this stroller is for anyone who is looking for a stroller for their littles who are 12 months and older. Yes, there is an infant attachment that you can use for your car seat, but it's really recommended for anyone whose toddlers are able to hold their head. And that's just because a lot of infants car seats are really bulky and heavy, and this is really lightweight. So it might not fit for your car seat. You'll just have to try it out and see for your infant car seat. If you have like, I think the Kiko would be a little bit too heavy just because of how it's made and why, you know, the purpose of that is being made for their particular travel system. So just keep that in mind if you have an infant car seat and you're trying to use it for the GB, just be mindful that the car seat might be a little bit too heavy. But trial and error, will allow you to pick what is gonna be good for you. This is overall great stroller for anyone who is traveling. It's super easy and we have even started to use it for like our everyday excursions. Like if we're going down to the beach, we're doing other additional travel, we are not looking for nothing else. Okay. So I have linked everything that I've talked about in the description box below so make sure to check that out i also have a checklist four most important things that you need to be looking out for now that outside has opened back up for your infant under the age of two i will link that in the description box below but you could check it out here it's a checklist that i have used to make sure that when we are traveling internationally because there's a lot of things that have changed especially for your little ones under two, depending on the country that you're going to, that checklist has everything that you need to make sure that you are in line and compliant before you get to the airport, sis, okay? Also, for more information about this, you can always visit my blog. I have linked everything in the description box below again. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more product reviews to help the mamas and the papas and everyone in their crew live their best life with their babies, all right? See you in the next video. Bye.